Hello and welcome back to Jesse Nerds Out. Today I'm going to be going into a little bit more detail about myself and why you might want to spend your time watching my videos over every other sci-fi channel out there. And I think a good place to start would be my passion. Uh, I've been a fan of Star Wars and Doctor Who since I was a kid. I first saw Star Wars when I was about eight or nine years old and I was obsessed for several years. Um, drifted away a little bit around 2005-2006 for reasons which I will explain in future videos. But then more recently, 2014-2015, um, when Disney took over Lucasfilm and started putting out a lot more content on a very regular basis, um, my uh, passion has been reignited and I am a dedicated fan once more. I first started watching Doctor Who when I was maybe about 11, around 2003-2004, um, the ABC, that's the Australian Broadcasting Corporation for my international subscribers, started rerunning the Classic Who series um, right from 1963 onwards. Um, and I think it took them about two years to get through all of those episodes because they must have known that the um, new series was coming out in 2005, so they wanted to make sure that everyone was prepared and I was more than ready for it. I've watched every single episode that came out since 2005 and I love them all, especially series four, that was amazing. Playing the title role of Doctor Who was even my dream job for quite a few years. And maybe might still be if anyone from the BBC is watching. Which brings me to my theatre studies. I studied drama in high school and theatre at university um, because of Doctor Who, basically. I, that, <laughs> that got me into wanting to become an actor. I have on-stage experience, I have backstage experience, I have directing experience, um, mostly for theatre but also a little bit for screen as well, so I've got a very good idea about what goes into making films and TV episodes and, and that's probably something I'm going to be talking about in future videos as well. There are quite a lot of very interesting behind the scenes tidbits for both Star Wars and Doctor Who out there if you know where to look. More broadly than just filmmaking though, I also know what constitutes a good story. A lot of my spare time throughout my life has been uh, spent on studying mythology and folklore from many different cultures, and J.R.R. Tolkien and his work have also been a huge influence um, for me. He's my ultimate creative hero, and studying his work has helped me to recognise common threads in otherwise completely separate uh, mythological traditions. So why not a Tolkien YouTube channel, I hear you ask. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I could talk about Tolkien um, plus mythology and folklore in general for hours, but uh, as much as it pains me to say it, it is a stagnant medium to work with. Um, Tolkien's dead and while we do have some posthumous publications, thank you for Christopher Tolkien, ultimately there's nothing new that's being added to the stories that he created, whereas Star Wars and Doctor Who are constantly evolving and expanding, and there's pretty much always going to be something to talk about there as more episodes and films are being made and uh, their respective universes are continuously expanded. Besides which, both franchises draw on mythology as inspiration for their stories, especially Star Wars. Some of you may be familiar with the work of another channel called Wayward Jedi, who uh, sadly seems to now be inactive. Um, he used Joseph Campbell's comparative mythology work, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, which is a major influence for George Lucas himself, as a platform to discuss the storytelling in Star Wars. I've not yet read The Hero with a Thousand Faces myself, but I have found many of my own parallels between Star Wars and folklore, which I'll also be exploring in future videos. Um, that brings me to my YouTube influences. Uh, Wayward Jedi was one of them, and um, I hope to be able to somewhat operate in the niche that he used to fill, though of course I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to be re a replacement for him because 
he's a different person to me and I want to be able to do my own thing anyway. Probably my biggest influence in terms of sci-fi YouTubers has been Eckhart's Letter. I find him very entertaining. Uh, I feel like he and I will be covering very different topics in our respective practices, but um, I love his presentation, his manner, his video style, um, and I think in him I found a very sound source of inspiration for how I'll approach my channel. Uh, I'm also a casual but regular player of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and I enjoy the videos that are released by Cubs Van Harm. Um, I'm nowhere near as expert a player as he is, but I hope to be able to incorporate quite regular Galaxy of Heroes updates, tips, maybe even speculation on where the game's going next in my videos. So my short-term plan is to be uploading videos once a week, eventually. As I said in my trailer introduction video, I also am a musician and I'm going on tour soon, so that's going to be getting in the way a little bit before I can give some very significant focus to this channel, but I should be pumping out videos weekly by the time July rolls around. As far as content goes, I'm mainly going to be focusing on Star Wars for this year. Doctor Who is taking a break, and um, in my experience, Star Wars fans are just a little bit more rabid. So the next two videos I want to do will be talking about um, how I see Star Wars in general, and a review, discussion, tribute, if you like, to The Phantom Menace to mark its 20th anniversary this year. I'm hoping to have at least one of those videos done by the end of this month, but certainly both will be done by the end of June, with hopefully one or two other videos as well. As I am aiming to release videos once a week, I would like you to leave a comment below telling me which day you most like to have a good old YouTube binge. But that is all from me for now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, share this with all your friends, and I look forward to nerding out with you in my next video.